Having covered the basics of fusion and some of the fundamental equations, let's have a look now at some of the designs for actual fusers. We'll start off with those designed by Farnsworth himself and his contemporaries. Farnsworth's initial designs were based on holding target ions in a field in the middle of a machine. His original idea was based on a type of electronic or thermomic valve, that is an electron tube in the USA, called a multipactor. This used a series of electrostatically charged electrodes to hold the ions in place. Another stream of ions was then fired into this with ion guns placed around the periphery of a machine. This initial design was altered by Robert Hirsch, who in the late 1960s was to produce a design known as the Fansworth Hirsch design. In this design, rather than using an ion gun, the ions were accelerated in from all sides into the middle of a machine by a negatively charged grid. There were also other grids present to control the particle supply and its containment. Variants of his basic design are the main subjects of experimentation right up to this day. A number of fuser designs appeared after Farnsworth and Hirsch. These modified the basic design in attempts to overcome real or perceived problems. Of these newer designs, the best known is the Polywell machine. This was developed by Robert Bussard and others. Bussard thought that the inner grid caused losses through ion collision and other mechanisms. So he proposed that it could be replaced with a virtual cathode held in place by electromagnets, which could also guide the path of the ions into the center of the machine. Bussard got funding from the US Navy to develop his machine, but unfortunately he died before completing his study. A small number of other designs have also been suggested. For example, the Crossfire Fuser, but these haven't gained such a widespread following. In the next couple of videos, we'll cover the two main issues with fusers, their losses and obtaining sufficient plasma concentration to provide the necessary power density.